What is up guys, Austin Richo here back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Extinction Map. I'm just here flying over to the, um, whatever you call this area, the Wasteland, because I'm here to collect some corrupted dinos. There we go, I need corrupted nodules because I found out that the corrupted nodules act like polymer, so I need some polymer. There were a couple more corrupted stegos, maybe. Oh, it's down over there. Um, but I am just collecting these corrupted nodules so that I can use them, you know, as polymer. There we go. Oh, goodness. What's going on? Oh, I lost control of the screen for a second. What's going on? It's something's weird is going on. There we go. Maybe it's because my bird was corrupted for a second or something. I don't know. Okay, let's continue flying. So we're looking for corrupted dinos over here. So they're just like those stegos. They have the purple on them. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, there's a T-Rex. Of course, it just went behind the rocks there. Let's fly over here real quick. You'll find all sorts of stuff like uh, stegos. Ooh, look at that. T-Rex. Level 90 corrupted T-Rex. So like the pteranodons here, as you can see. These things are corrupted. Oh, goodness. Ooh, there's a corrupted raptor too. Oh, the corrupted dinos look so cool. Let's come out. There's. I'll take that stego. And this pteranodon. And we'll kill these things too. Get him, Packy. Even though you're corrupted. Which means you have issues too. I want to kill that Rex, but since it. Oh, look at the fart bug. But we're gonna. I'm corrupt. Corrupting. <laughs> collecting some of the corrupted nodules. So that I can craft stuff. Look at the Tranodon chasing after the corrupted Tranodon chasing after the fart bag thing. I don't know what they're even called. I'll save you. You could be a high level. Oh no, you're flying even further away. I saw, yes, a Dillo right here. Come here, Dillo. Stay goes all sorts of. Ooh, it looked like. Oh, we've got a good number of stuff. I don't know if that's a... I know there's like corrupted like nodules, I want to say. I don't know if... That Trandon looks weird. I don't know if it's just my horrible graphics or if it's corrupted. I can't really tell. Okay, so I got a, a plenty of stuff for now. So let's fly back to the base. When I was flying back from the snow owl the other day, I saw a gas bag is what I guess what they're called. And it was really pretty high level. Ooh, there's a regular T-Rex. All over you, level 50. And a corrupted Stego. Or Trike, sorry. Um, so anyways, let's go back to base now. And I will craft up the few things I want to craft. I'm going to have to uh, expand my base because I'm already getting too full. Which that's why I built an area. So, uh, so it has plenty of space where I can uh, build up and everything. So I believe my base is over this way. And I have some more trank darts crafting up because I'm, and I'm hoping it's enough. Actually, I, now that I think about it, I don't think I have enough. So I may have some issues there. I'll, uh, but I think though I will have, ooh, there's another nodule thing. I've been s s collecting all these as I find them. Whoa, look at it. I think I showed this maybe last time or something, but they're so cool because they're like interactive so you can spin around. So I'm just like clicking and then spinning moving my mouse around you can see all sorts of stuff it looks pretty cool so that's awesome and yeah I've just been finding those as I fly around and there's my base I see it through the trees over there there's a dead spider and a bag of something so let's get back to base and more spiders just spiders just everywhere pteranodon why are you sitting there 
You look like you're one of mine. Just the way you're sitting there. Okay. So I got our Inky in the last step, so then of course our Hedwig, our Snow Owl, which of course looks really cool and makes weird noises. I've I've been playing around with it and I have to say I'm not uh too impressed with it. I, I thought it'd be pretty much exactly like a reskinned RG almost. Where you know you just take a you can do everything you can with an RG, but it is a little different. Okay, let's go into structures here. Crafting, and I wanted to do this chemistry bench, so we need to turn that on. And so I have electrical uh, generator. I have refrigerator. I for guess I forgot that I already made that. Let's see if there's anything else I did that. Oh, yeah, I think I can do... I know I need metal, which there should be metal right here. Yeah, I'll just grab this lower one. Throw it in there. It was cooking, right? Craft one. I hope I place these right since out. Oops. Oh, did I just waste that? Because I accidentally hit the wrong thing. Dang it! Are you kidding me? Well, it's just oil and metal, which I can easily... I have the metal and oil. It's just tin more. Which I have plenty of oil in here. I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm so stupid. And metal metal grab this one now and I already have more metal cooking up so it should be fine uh, cooking craft one uh, what else can we make Struck miscellaneous oh canteen that's pretty much it because I got the electrical stuff already I don't have enough to do a vault but I really wanted that chemistry oh yeah definitely not enough for that but I really wanted to chemistry bench let's go ahead Salad and stuff, take the refrigerator, the Kim bench, and the industrial cooker. Yeah, we'll climb up here, and this is where our generator will be. So let me take the generator, put it down there. Uh, surely that's sticking in. Oh well. Um, do we need the cable? Hopefully that's sticking out. I can't see from up top. Please be placing properly. Oh yeah, right there. There we go. Now we can place the refrigerator, which will be right here. Maybe I'll sit it like right here. And I guess if it sticks out, it sticks out. And, oh yeah, and I need to put gas, which I have in here. Yes. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I did, oh, uh, never mind. There we go, and the refrigerator is all up up and running because I say I don't need this anymore now but I will hold on to it just going to take that in case I won't ever want to make uh, like jerky or anything go and take this spark powder out of it yeah and we got it I wonder what it looks like from the outside yeah you can see it stick through oh wow uh, like I said, I definitely need to expand my base out. So that's what I'll be working on probably after this episode. And now, oh yeah, I already got everything on me. That thing just trying to figure out where to put everything is the issue. Hmm. Because I really need to get this chemistry bench up. Cause I need it. Let's check this. Make sure everything. Demolish this stuff. We'll 
place it right there. And it is powered and it does need gas as well, I believe. But I need it for spark powder and everything, so that's why I wanted to take this. There we go. Put that back in there. And now I can use it for... I can put the spark powder back in there. Then I can come over and grab what little charcoal I have over here. And now I can eat much faster. I don't know why I put metal in there. make more stuff which is what I need and I should have my bullets ready so let's make 66 trank darts hopefully that should be plenty so I will let that craft up and we are going today to tame up a Bellana saw star, star, star <laughs> I don't know what it's called um, let's go with let's see if we have a saddle so Vel yeah, Velanasaur saddle. Make it in a smithy. Let's craft one up in a smithy there. Craft one. Okay, so I'm going to then fly over to the desert area and try to tank or to tank it to tame a Velana. So I'm going to try and find the highest one, and once I do find it, I'll bring it back, showing getting it knocked out and everything. So I will see you then flying over this way to the desert biome so once this everything gets crafted up and everything so I will see you then okay so I found one over here it's an 85 it's the highest I've been able to find I think the green one yeah green one's level 10 so I need to kill that one because um, it is mate boosted and everything so let's there it goes so the one that's 85 is shooting my bird right now let's so hopefully we can get it to stay on the bird because I know you need to keep li um, line of sighting it like it needs to be keep shooting the bird or I need to hide behind rocks or something because it'll just absolutely like murder me if it shoots me especially since I am in primitive gear like that supposedly they are relatively easy to tame so hopefully I can shoot a couple darts into it and then it'll start running It's right down there. Come on, go down. It's so weird. There it goes, it's down. Well, that was pretty easy. So let's check to make sure there's nothing dangerous around here. Let's go ahead and kill this. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Oh well. Wait, is that Stego? I want prime meat, so I gotta... And I don't think I have... Oh, I do have prime meat on me. I'll definitely need to make flak once I get back to my base because I don't know why I haven't made it yet. Come on, where's the... There it is. Grab all of that. There we go. I'll throw it on there. And, oh, and apparently <laughs> that dame's super fast. Oh, that was crazy. So, uh, I guess we, we got the Velanosaur. That, like I said, I was not expecting it, one, to tame that fast. I heard that they were pretty easy to, like, take out, so that wasn't really surprising. Let's go ahead and take that off follow. And then set it to passive, I think.
Ooh, it hit pretty. So that obviously <laughs> um, let's go ahead so I know it definitely needs stamina will get its health up a bit get above 3000 add some more weight to it and then melee damage for sure so I know there's okay so you press C to go into the turret mode like that let's come over here so I'm gonna press C and then it'll aim and then you just start shooting there killed the Lymantria and there goes the Morella tops let's come over here and kill this stuff so I can claim it You want some two Morella tops? There it goes. Oh, that's so cool. Now the only thing is, can I pick this up with my RG and fly it back? That is the real question. Let's go ahead and add more. Definitely get more melee damage added onto it here. Maybe a point movement speed just so it moves a little faster. Oh, it's so cool. And I love this color too, the like reddish brown. It looks so cool. So it doesn't move like the fastest, so I'll definitely need to be putting movement speed into it. Let's try this um, Dodicarus. Let's see what level it is for. Okay, yeah. Don't want to kill a good level one. Oh, look how that. That killed it so fast. I was assuming it would just roll up into a ball. Oh, that's so cool. So now we've got to get back. I don't, like I said, I don't think the RG can pick it up. Let's try, though. Nope, doesn't look like it, which that means we got to... Okay, so I'm going to probably ride it. I'll put the RG on neutral because it's pretty strong, so it should do pretty well. And now it's time to ride back to base, which I assume is somewhere this direction. I don't really know for sure. But I will... Uh, get back to base. Hopefully this thing will survive. Um, I hope that we'll get killed anywhere along, you know, like by corrupted things or anything. Yeah, the RG's coming. But let's hope I don't kill this cool thing. May have to try it out a little bit more. Maybe not on the spite uh, thorny dragons. Maybe. Whatever it was though, that RG took care of it. Uh oh. Okay, and it does jump a little. Not too far, but it does jump. Just get out to the border here. And then I guess I gotta figure out how I get home. Like what direction it is to get home. Ooh, there's a corrupted Tranodon. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, so I'm going to get home and I will see you when I make it there. And I made it back home finally. It actually wasn't too bad. I mean, just having to walk all the way is obviously pretty slow and boring. Um, but it actually, I was able to you know, get some levels and so I put it into movement speed. So it actually moved a little bit faster. But it was pretty funny cool and I love the whole turret mode on it. Let's see if we can test it out on some stuff. Of course it doesn't have a huge range so you have to find stuff pretty close. Um, of course there's usually not much around here. Let's see if we can maybe shoot like a top jar or something. I think it's too far. Oh I thought I forgot I didn't. Yeah it's shooting way too far or it's too way too far away. But let's run down here and shoot at it real quick. Okay, we should definitely in range now. 
There it goes. It took like just a couple of hits. Of course, that was really low level. But I have powered it up and everything, like I said. So this thing is pretty dang cool. This would be like awesome if it flew. Like if this thing flew, this would be the coolest dinosaur ever. And it's so awesome. And I love the whole turret mode. And it's actually, you know, like it's thing like that just shot stuff everywhere. Like you can see them sticking into the side of my building. You can kind of see the little blue darts. They just disappeared. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then it just got a swipe mode. Let's look at it. It's got a swipe mode like that as its normal attack. And then we can, of course, go into turret mode. Rah, like that. And then start shooting like that. So that looks so cool. And that is awesome. So that, I guess, is going to be it for today. Um, let's check out all my stuff inside here. Let's get the RG. Come here, RG. Let's land you down here. There, take it off, follow. So let's check out. Whoa, all our stuff in here. I think everything I made more a lot. Uh, what did I make? I thought I made more of something, but maybe I'm just forgetting whatever it was. I got more oil for gas going. I guess I don't remember I don't know what I was making let's actually see if we can make armor here make all of this so yeah, we'll start off with the bigger pieces because we want two of everything do two of that there we go so we should have all our armor since i was just wearing cloth and that thing about killed me but uh so much fun and cool so that is awesome the velanosaur so that i guess is going to be it for today i'm trying to think of how many other dinos we have of course got the snowy owl and the velanosaur and then we got the gas bag which maybe we'll do in the next episode i can't yeah maybe I don't know, I want to go explore the underground uh, forest thing or whatever it's called up in the corner of the map. Like up in, over in that direction of the map. I think it's the forest or whatever uh, that's underground and some cool stuff I guess down in there. So I uh, want to go check that out. And I don't know what other dinos there are. New dinos. I know there's the titans and everything but I won't be doing those. But Oh, there's the, also that snow like dragon thing that kept trying to attack me when I was getting Hedwig and everything. But I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I can't think of anything else to do right now. I just got to work on the base and expand it out. And uh, I'm going to move definitely over to like that uh, area and stuff. But I guess that's going to be it for the episode today. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more ARC videos on Extinction here. And, of course, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you really like the video. Thank you all so much for doing any of that for me. I appreciate you all watching. And we will see you in the next episode.